joining us now from the State House is one of the key figures who's watching where all this money is going, the State Comptroller, Matt Boxer. Good of you to join us once again. Uh, give me a sense now of where things stand in terms of the flow of money and, and your job as, as you see it. Mike, well, it's good to be here with you. We've been charged with looking at the flow of all of the Sandy-related reconstruction and rebuilding expenditures that begins with the contracting part of the process. Any contract that the state enters into to spend reconstruction funding has to be pre-cleared by our office. We're going to make sure that the vendor is being selected in an appropriate manner, consistent with law, and in the way that, uh, that the public will be comfortable with. Have you seen any paperwork? Have you seen anything deal-wise that has not met the high standards that the public expects? So far, what we've seen has been uh, all compliant with law. We've reviewed about 20 contracts so far, and all of those contracts are now posted on the state's Sandy Transparency website that we've created uh, over the last couple months. That website is going to list not only all of those contracts, but we've posted on there programmatic information that set forth criteria for each of the Sandy-related streams of funding that, um, that the state has available to it so folks can see where the money is from, who is getting it, and why they're getting it. And then the last piece, once the money actually starts to be spent, is we'll be tracking the recipients and it'll be able to sort by geography exactly where the money is going. We're focused really like uh, with a laser-like focus on ensuring transparency and public confidence in this process, Mike, and uh, we think we're off to a good start. When, when the money starts to become spent, will, will there be some sort of like traffic signals within your office that it's not being spent quickly enough, it's being spent too quickly, it's going to geography that maybe it shouldn't have according to the terms of the contract. How will you know if something's going wrong? All of that is part of our audit process and our audit planning process. We already now are starting to set parameters and make some decisions in terms of the types of projects and contracts that we're going to be auditing. And one thing that we're doing proactively up front is we're looking at the previous audits of government agencies that are teed up to receive some of the reconstruction funding so that we can get some of these problems fixed before that funding comes in. We can identify what past problems have been with some of these government agencies and get those issues rectified. The oversight bill that the governor recently vetoed, had that been enacted, would that have interfered with your ability to do your job or would have it helped you? It wouldn't have affected us one way or the other. We're, uh, as I mentioned, we're, we're focused on providing transparency in terms of the funding streams available, where the money is going. Uh, the governor had signed an executive order previously uh, helping to put some of those measures in place. Whether, whether the transparency measures that we are focused on are, are supported by an executive order or a legislation is for us of, of, uh, of no particular moment. We're just focused on providing that transparency and making sure the public can see the information in terms of how money is being spent and why so folks can be comfortable with it. The Ashbridge deal recently was the subject of a New York Times article saying that New Jersey's get actually getting a better bang for its buck than New York with the Army Corps of Engineers doing it. Have you seen anything to affirm or to perhaps contrast with that opinion? That's another issue that would be considered as part of our audit and audit planning process. Um, we haven't engaged in the level of detail to assess cost of different vendors uh, at this point, but that is certainly the kind of issue that we could be looking at. And our audit division now is well underway in figuring out what contracts we can be most helpful with in, in terms of shining a light uh, on issues like that. Matt Boxer, have to leave it there, sir. Thank you for coming on. Thanks for having me, Mike. Good to be with you.